Finding your Minecraft mods folder. How can you do it? Well, it's actually pretty simple. All you gotta do is open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, if you can't open up the Minecraft launcher, skip forward in the video a little bit because we're gonna show you how to find your mods folder if you can't get in the launcher as well. But first, most people probably can, so let's start there. Once you're in the Minecraft launcher, click on installations up here at the top, and then you wanna make sure modded is checked on the right-hand side. As you can see, if I empty select modded, all of our modded versions disappear. If we check modded, boom, they all appear. And whether it's fabric, forge, quilt, or neoforged, it doesn't matter what Minecraft mod loader you're using, just Hover over it and click on the folder icon on the right. When you do that, it will open up your Minecraft folder. Now, you should have a mods folder in here if you've played the modded installation before. If this is your first time installing it, like you just installed Fabric and you've never played Minecraft with Fabric, you won't have a mods folder, you can create one. So right click, create a new folder, and title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like this, and now you've got yourself a mods folder. It is worth noting that you should probably hover over the mod installer that you're using. For example, if you're using Fabric, hover over Fabric and click on that. Forge, hover over and click on that. Quilt, hover over it and click on that. The reason I say that is because you can actually have multiple mod loaders. If you want to know how to do that real fast, just hover over the installation, click on the three dots and click on edit, and then come in here and click browse where it says game directory. From here, you're going to be in your .minecraft folder. I would go back to roaming, make a new folder. We're going to call this forge and then click okay. Now we've got a forge folder and guess what? When we click save here, this is separate from our, our other Minecraft installations. So if we go into forge and click the folder here, nothing's in here because we've not launched Minecraft with it yet. When we do, we can add mods separately here from the mods that would be in our fabric installation. You could also do this again for quilt, just making sure you're setting up different installations and different folders for each one. It's really simple and that's a tip you weren't expecting. But what if you can't access the installations tab in the Minecraft launcher? Well, if that's the case, we're gonna show you how to find your mods folder in a second. But first, we're gonna keep the lights on around here. So have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to xyz slash sgh to start your very own modded Minecraft server. You can add mod packs super easily with just a few clicks. You can add individual mods super easily, plugins, or if you do just want an L server, guess what? You can set one of those up as well without any issues. And speaking of issues, should you have any issues along the way, we are here to help with live chat support and an amazing high quality help center. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, how do you find your mods folder if you can't access the Minecraft launcher? We'll go ahead and open up the start menu and search for the run app. Open up the run app and in it you want to type this percent sign app data percent sign percent app data percent and click OK. That's then going to open up your roaming folder and there it is the dot Minecraft folder. In here you've got your mods folder and like I said before you can go ahead and delete this or anything else you want but right there it is your mods folder. Now, if you did create another installation in the roaming folder like we did with Forge, that'll be here as well. Here is that, and again, when you play Minecraft the first time, it'll populate everything it needs into this folder here. But nonetheless, that is how you can find your mods folder in Minecraft. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments, and be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.